Yo, what is going on, you Julian Dreadnought? That's right, we're playing a deck that is good, and it also plays four rare candy. And I know what you're going to say, Azul, that's just Suicune, Inteleon, Ludicolo. And you know what? You're right. But it also plays four rare candy, and it's also good in the current format. Suicune was struggling up against the Mew VMAX when Mew VMAX initially dropped. But I feel like this build, with a couple changes, uh, actually can actually keep up with Mew VMAX and can actually compete against it um, and not have it be a terrible matchup, was what it, which is what it felt like before. And a couple key things that have changed in this build to kind of give you those answers to the Mew VMAX is the heavy Ludicolo line. 4-1-2 Ludicolo. You don't need three or four Ludicolo, but you do need the low tad so you can make sure you can get into your Ludicolo. And then Lombre helps us get into double Ludicolo turns uh, sometimes as well. And that's one of the reasons that we have a better Mew VMAX matchup with this build is because we can pull off double Ludicolo plays more easily. The problem against the Mew VMAX matchup is it's got 310 HP. And then when it has a Fusion Strike energy on it, it can't be quick shooting. So even if they have a full bench or if they have four Pokemon on their bench and we have a full bench and we get one Ludicolo off with the Enthusiastic Dance, our Blizzard Rondo is only doing 300 damage. So they live with 10 HP and we can't quick shooting to clean it up later on. But because we play so many Lotad and so many Rare Candy, we can actually pull off double Ludicolo plays. So we're doing like, like 400 damage. So it's a little bit overkill on the damage, but it gets the one hit KO. So that's big. The other card that really helps in that matchup that is now included in the list is the double Cross Switcher, which allows us to Melanie for our turn or Raihan and then also Gust in the same turn. So you can go chase stuff like Genesect in the Mew VMAX matchup specifically, but other matchups, you can chase anything you want. You know, if you're playing up against single strike, you can go chase that Umbreon or whatever. Um, so the cross switchers, really cool play to pull off through those. You can Melanie and you can Gust in the same turn or Raihan. Like I said, you can Raihan. You can attack with a Suicune and Gust in the same turn, which is definitely something this deck was lacking before. We still play the escape rope. Um, so that was like your only way to really manipulate manipulate your opponent's active before. So you can Melanie and then escape rope. But now there is the cross switchers and the, the two, cross switchers, two cross switchers in here work pretty well. We do still play one boss. Um, and I don't really think there's room for four cross switchers. I was really struggling recently with how to fit in a Marnie into this list recently. Um, and I finally cut a cape. There was three cape in here when I initially was using the list. There was three cape initially. And I cut one of those. I put a Marnie in because I was feeling like I just want at least one draw supporter. Because enough times had come up where I was just like, I just need to draw cards and I don't want a Melanie or I can't Melanie and I wish I could draw cards. So we put one Marnie in there to cover all of those situations and uh yeah that's the list but the rest of it you know pretty straightforward as far as squeaky and Italian and ludicolo, ludicolo decks go but there's four rare candy in here uh and if you guys want access to this list and any other list that i post here on the youtube channel go over to pokemoncard.io link for that in the description will take you right over to my profile where i post all of the deck lists that i post on the youtube channel over here over there so you can quickly and easily import them from there to ptcgo and start playing with them immediately so you don't have to like look at the you know pause the video right now look at the list and then go you know all right four, four low tad put four low tad in okay put one lombra and you can just go over there look import deck list to pdcgo or export deck list whatever and then you just take that code and you import the deck list into pdcgo and you're good to go pokemoncard.io let's get into some games if you guys enjoyed the video as always give it a like if you enjoyed the content be sure to subscribe and hit the bell let's do it let's get it to probably going second in this one actually i've been liking oh wow my opponent chose for me to go first i've been liking going second as i'm like talking about going second my opponent chooses for me to go first um I got one basic to start with so we're gonna open the tad here yeah i've been liking going second i think my opponent also likes going second and we're up against a wheeze Good old wheezing deck so ludicolo not really too good in this matchup i might just go ahead and quick ball ludicolo to be honest and what am i doing from there that's the question maybe i shouldn't maybe we should evolve up to ludicolo and hit with ludicolo this matchup's weird. <laughs> this matchup's like really weird about what we actually want to do in it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the, that. Grab a Sobble. I could just like attach Capture to the active. I mean, we'll do that now. Get another Sobble. Double Sobble and... I mean, I guess it could also just like hit us turn one with a Hoopa, but I assume they're gonna want to get out the Weezing. So I put myself into a little bit of an awkward spot here, but if we can just go like Evolve to Lombre involves ludicolo do 120 i mean that's something and otherwise we were kind of in a position where we couldn't really move our active we could have got a suicune there and if my opponent ah, but they always use ascension here they're always going to ascension here right? i assume they ascension could have got a suicune put on the bench attached energy if you get like a scoop up net or another turn another turn after that we attach like three times in a row then we could attack or if we top deck a melanie i guess that would also work or the boss 
we did get the scoop now so getting some good attachment to it would have worked out pretty well to be honest um now the question is do i call for family or do i just go to the lombre to then get into the Lucolo as soon as possible and i kind of don't know what i want to do i'm just like really stuck on this one just knowing we're about to get wheezing and we don't have a sweeping setup yet just makes things pretty difficult to be honest all right let's go with the lombre we're only doing 120 as well which doesn't ko the wheezing so it's like hit it twice catch again and then and then pass <laughs> yeah that makes things like that makes things like even more awkward it's like well we only do 120 damage which just doesn't ko wheezing so then what i don't know man we'll see where this goes from here i'm not feeling super confident if i had gone for the suicune though i guess we wouldn't even want to ko this because we would have had like what 80 we've done 120 with suicune here to be honest even with the scoop in that top deck actually we've done less well we could bench low tad back down so it'd have been 120 yeah so we wouldn't even ko the wheezing with the suicune to be honest Level ball for my opponent off the Drizzile. Another coughing, okay. More wheezings on the way. So we're going to be here for a little while. Kind of doing nothing while my opponent does very little themselves. They're not doing a whole ton themselves, but they are getting further ahead of us. Uh, and they'll have, uh, soon have quick access to quick shooting in Teleons, which is really like what they want to build towards. Uh, oh, we have an escape rope, but we don't have... Ooh, we have escape rope, but we don't have the a drizzle to work with if i had kept the scoop up nap i didn't really want to lose my quick shooting teleon quick shooting a pretty big deal in this matchup um especially with four nets even though we only play one quick shooting we can pretty easily get to you know like double triple quick shooting turns uh through scoop up nets so we play four scoop up nets so we don't need multiple quick shooting to really pull that off to be honest um yeah we don't need we don't need multiple of those we just need to be able to actually like do it um actually even attaching to the Inteleon. So they're setting up their Inteleon as well. And there goes the research. Pretty clean turn for my opponent. There they have their first quick shoot up. Quick shooting set up. And uh, they could even net this Weezing here, to be honest, as well. They could net this Weezing, reset it. Yeah, if we get if we can get a Suicune out there early and just start swinging, I feel like we're usually in a pretty good spot in this matchup. But when this kind of stuff happens, <clears throat> if things just get really weird, really slow, and uh, we're usually in a pretty bad spot. Here comes another severe poison. We can hit for 120 again, but we're getting knocked out going into their turn because we have the quick shooting KO my Ludicolo. We did get the Evolution Incense, though, so now I can go... How do we make this work, though? Go so play the escape rope and then see what my opponent does. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play the escape rope. We'll see what my opponent does. And then we will go from there. Okay. We can send up the Sobble now. Evolution Incense. Grab Drizzile. Okay, I'm seeing... To the Melanie. Okay, so I see a line here we can try and take... That might lead to success. <laughs> Go like this. Yes. Grab the quick ball. And then we're going to net this drizzle. I don't want to lose my quick shooting once again. So we're actually going to quick ball away the quick shooting Italian on here. Uh, oh, I. Well, I just messed that up. I did. I was going to quick ball away the Sobble. Oh my gosh. All right. Don't. Nobody look. All right. We're out of quick shooting for the rest of the game. That's fine. Can still work with this fleet footed hopefully get a melanie water energy is just as good though so i'm in a little bit more of an awkward spot than i needed to be we definitely wanted uh quick shooting <laughs> i definitely didn't want to get rid of it there but i just like like i just did it uh but we're gonna get this knockout here on this coughing which is a major threat as you all know and we'll be in an okay spot uh, losing a sobble there also would have stunk as well but i think it would have been the lesser of the two uh evils as it were um okay was it rondo knockout and we are taking the first prize card which is where we want to be in this matchup we would like to have uh quick shooting to back us up on it but it's fine we can be okay without it for sure we should stay ahead in the prize trade which is definitely possible in this matchup as long as we're able to find energy the one thing i'm kind of scared of is just finding energy turn to turn because we definitely want to try and attack with as many <clears throat> uh shady dealings intellions actually as possible um, to use that attack, do 120, 22 a bench Pokemon. And the 22 the bench Pokemon usually uh, lines up really well with quick shooting. But we're going to have to go without that this time around. 
my opponent's getting another coffee and actually Raihan into the coffee. So that makes me that kind of tells me that they don't probably have a ton going on in their hand. Uh, but second quick shooting is pretty scary, to be honest. That's a pretty scary uh, combo my opponents got set up here. The double quick shooting. They're going after my Ludicolo, but we got net to prevent the quick shootings from getting those cheesy prize cards. We can net the Ludicolo. Um, I can involve this Sobble into a Drizzile. And uh, yeah, we'll be okay. And then just go ahead and take this knockout. And I guess we'll see where it goes from there. The rest of the hand isn't very good besides that. So we'll have that. But oh, Evolution Intense will give us options on the following turn, potentially, though. Um, and we don't even have to bench this Lotad back down, which I wouldn't want to do anyways. So yeah, it's it's we're cruising here. We're cruising here. So we're doing yeah, 120, 140, Blizzard Ronda for 140. Yeah, we're doing okay here. Get ourselves a low tad off the prize cards. Yeah, not gonna need many of those in this matchup because well my opponent's Pokemon just don't, doesn't have very much HP to be honest. This got 130 here. This is like the they're one of their main attackers that the Italian doesn't KO. I guess besides Sableye. Um but I guess I wouldn't really consider Sableye a main attacker. It's a more situational matchup dependent attacker it does sometimes come up where you want to you know <clears throat> hit him with it but it doesn't happen as often research coming down that was a lot of net i thought it was three at first but it was an evolution incense and two net <laughs> they get rewarded with a couple sobbles immediately but yeah if we get another prize card with the suicune i'm feeling pretty good i'm feeling pretty good at that point despite the lack of quick shooting i keep bringing it up and yeah, despite the lack of quick shooting i'm still feeling pretty good if uh, we get one more knockout here with this weak unit, of course, my opponent's going to be in a pretty good spot themselves, it looks like, on the next turn. We're not going to get, get knocked out going into their turn, but they will KO me after that. So then the question would be, what do I want to send up? I think the answer is a low tad. That we can, we can evolve to the Lombre, so I'm not as worried about having this just kind of in play as a 60 HP Pokemon. We can evolve to the Lombre. We could even candy it to a Ludicolo at some point. Uh, but yeah, they're probably going to they're probably gonna knock out my Sweet in this turn um, <clears throat> with a quick shooting ping. So we're gonna have to send something else we're gonna have to send something to the active here and i think lotad fits the bill pretty well for something fairly useless to send up to the active here uh yeah here comes the quick shooting goodbye a suicune as expected uh go get him low tad your time to shine is now do do your your best do your worst I don't know, what do you say in that situation to a low tad who's about to go to the active spot and do absolutely nothing except get knocked out <clears throat> how do you how do you keep your low tads motivated Should, let me know in the uh, the comment section down below. I almost said chat. I'm, I'm streaming over here, but I'm not. All right, Hoopa grabs. So I'm gonna use Hoopa to KO the Tad. We can go into the Inteleon here if we want to. Uh, I'm not convinced I want to, but we probably do. We can go Inteleon. If we have three prize cards, we can go Inteleon, Suicune, Suicune. That doesn't line up the best to give us the best chance to win the game, though, I feel like. And here comes a Marnie from my opponent. So this could be a little bit scary here with this Marnie. I don't think we're gonna brick. We got a lot of gas left in the deck, but it's always a little bit scary when the Marnie comes down because you never really know if you're going to break or not off of Marnie. Got a level ball. Got the got the Shade Dealings in Talion, so we should be all set. We'll be all good. And the question is just, what do I want to attack with? If I attack with Suicune, it does get one hit by a Moltres. Uh, but they don't have access to Shady Dealings right now. If I attack with Inteleon, it also gets one hit by Moltres. So that kind of makes me want to just go ahead and attack with an Inteleon. Um because of that well, if i attack with suicune they knock it out they get two if they attack with inteleon they get one but they'd have to use a moltres to ko the inteleon to be honest so we could like maybe get through with one of the moltreses and then maybe they couldn't set up they have one in the discard pile so i guess they kind of set that up just on a um a clara here and i'm gonna send this up let's see what my top deck is and then we'll decide nothing new to be honest they also have triple quick shooting next turn yeah we're in a rough spot they only have one net left though so what am i getting here net and quick ball or am i gonna go for the we don't have double cross which we could go for a double cross which play to make things more awkward for them we could ping this twice coming down to 120 but like still i guess they could kill like triple quick shooting even then the hoop only gets an i think quad quick quad quick shooting i'm gonna get that if i go suicune here well i could get the cape on it okay i could cape my suicune maybe that's the play cape the suicune and then hope maybe they just can't all right maybe we go with cape suicune right here yeah because we can't go back to back aqua bullets otherwise we do that i think okay so let's, let's go with it let's go with it um and that now i guess i don't know i don't think it really matters i get these two and we don't want to leave any uh, um sobbles we don't want to get trouble quick shooting so we can't like leave sobbles and stuff in play a little bit too risky at this point in the game we're gonna net this send this up uh, I'm going to burn some level balls then because we're not going to have like Sobbles to be able to like 
double ball into the Drizzle House anyways. We're not going to put any Sobbles down. Then we'll Fleet Footed and make the rest of our actions based on that uh, the Fleet Feet. Um, yeah, see what the Feet get us. Our Candy. All right. Going to go for a Melanie and a Cape then, I think. And see if we even need to use the Drizzle for the Bucket. Or maybe we could get something else. Guarantee the Melanie and the Cape. More us the energy than we do the cape, so that's why I want to go this route. Okay, cape on it. That we have to evolve, like I said, because we can't let them get quick shooting knockouts here. But what do I take even at this point? Um, I guess I could have like caped my. I could cape a sobble actually. Ooh, I like this play, caped sobble, protect it from getting KO. This is actually a super cute play. And allows us to get access to a Drizzile still, even if they like triple quick shooting it. Um, so yeah, Cape the Sobble. You can even candy it into an Inteleon actually as, as well. Got the Cross Switcher. That could open up some pretty cool plays. I would have loved that this turn, I think. Cross Switcher KO the cast form could have made things really awkward for my opponent. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have gone with like, like a, a Cross Switcher KO the cast form, to be honest. That would have been a pretty sick play here. Uh, gonna have to settle for this knockout on the Hoopa. And uh, hope they don't have the... What am I trying to dodge here? The Moltres play. The Moltres play is really, really good. We're hoping to my opponent just doesn't have it here we'll see that they have the evolution incense that means they probably have access to yeah shady dealings and tell which means they probably with a six card hand getting any two trainer cards basically access to whatever they want on this turn to be honest we can't really stop them from doing anything um, although we would like to we'd have no control but if i could have gone with uh the cross switchers last turn i think i would have probably done that i could have pulled it off i actually don't even know if i had the the resources to do that but i would have gone for like a double cross switcher on that pivot here which is the cast form did not get that option. Couple dark energy, and I believe they got yeah, they got the mall trace. Trading course coming out. We might be able to utilize that ourselves, actually. I might still go with some kind of cross switcher. We'll see what they actually end up doing here as far as their damage goes. Here comes a quick shooting. Is going to the Suicune. <laughs> and another one to my Suicune. Okay. I get it. You want to KO the Suicune? So the Suicune has 20 HP left. So even if I went, oh no, it's actually just knocked out. I thought I had 20 HP left. I did not have 20 HP left. Okay. We can get a cross switcher playoff though. So we could go for like an aqua bullet on a Drizzile. Um, no, we have to KO the active, right? We, I was like, I was thinking about that for like a second. Oh, but we have to Raihan. Oh, this just feels so bad. For some reason, I thought we had like some cute plays to be up to be happening. But yeah, without quick shooting, we couldn't pressure like Sobbles or even maybe the cast form this turn. All well, comes back to that initial mistake I made uh, by getting rid of my quick shooting. I didn't really mean to, but I, just, like, I kind of started playing cards and ended up with the quick shooting. Probably, but we're still almost people pull it back. I don't know if it actually would have made a difference. The extra Sobble in play was definitely good uh, overall. So who knows if it actually would have made a difference, to be honest, overall. At the end of the day, just grab a Suicune here. And I mean, I have energy. Yeah, I have energy in the discard pile. So go ahead and grab that. And I mean, let's see if they got it or not. Not going to bench either of those. I could bench the Suicune, to be honest, because at this point, it doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw that down. Who knows? Maybe they play like escape rope and try and get a knockout with Hooper or something. It could end up mattering, I guess, overall. Let's go ahead and ping that cast form on our way through. But I think this one is pretty much over. Uh, yeah, my opponent's got a massive hand. Uh, definitely plays more than just one Clara to recover Moltres, or probably has another Moltres in the deck. So if they can piece that together with like a, yeah, what was it, a 12 card hand? Three, six, not 10 card hand, not quite 12. Yeah, and there it is. Energy, <clears throat> training court. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty close matchup overall, I think. This one was pretty close in the end. I mean, they pretty much had control the whole time. We couldn't quite get into some stuff when we wanted to because they stalled with Weezing for so long. Um, but if we're able to get to an earlier Suicune or even an earlier Aqua Bullet from the Inteleon, uh, we can somehow take over the matchup ourselves. Not happening in this one, though. Taking L in this first one. All right, here we go. And we won the coin flip, but I'm going to go second. Like I said, I've been trying not going second with this deck. It's felt pretty good. Uh, and this hand uh, is no different as far as feeling good about going second goes. This hand's actually like feels pretty sick for going second. Well, we're a little bit short of a piece or two but that can be pieced together with a top deck or two um or we could look for a candy um inteleon for the shade of dealings Italian. that should also be able to piece it together for us as well uh zigzagoon and sobble for my opponent so obstagoon or jolteon most likely jolteon is a terrible matchup uh matchup we definitely don't want to hit definitely it is winnable um but it's very very difficult <laughs> it's very very difficult it looks like that is what we're up against here but it looks like my opponent does have a pretty slow start 
So, uh, yeah, we might be able to make this one work. Let's see. Got a bunch of sobble. Um, I don't want to put down the capture energy. I do want to get a Suiku now. That's what I'm currently looking at here. But I also want to get this water energy in the discard pile as soon as possible. Um, I think I go with the water energy here. Let me go with the keep calling. Get a couple sobbles. And then we see where it goes from there. Um, and actually, on this next turn is one we're going to look for. Pretty big play. We're going to look for a uh, cross switcher play onto a Jolteon. I think it's probably what we're going to look for here. Is cross switcher play onto a Jolteon. Ideally, they only get down one Jolteon. These are those. These are the moments where we can try and uh, you know win these bad matches. It's a bad matchup, but we can win it. It is winnable, especially when our opponent has a slow start. They whiff the turn one Jolteon. Here comes a quick ball. I wonder what they're going to get. Might be Jolteon. And if but they can't get two of them in play, then we knock out this first one. Boss KO the second one, two prize cards away from winning the game. Who knows where it goes from there? So if they can, if they whiff the second Jolteon V, we've got some hope here. That's why we'd really like to attach to a Suicune turn one, to be honest, in this scenario, because then we can just attach, attack, could even maybe play our Marnie or just play a boss for the supporter. But now kind of have to play a Melanie. And because we have to play a Melanie, we're going to need the cross switchers, which can be a little bit hard to put together. But that is an insanely good draw uh pretty much no matter what like this is just good <laughs> this is a good draw okay another top deck to go with it let's start with the melanie let's see what that gives us and uh see what we can put together from there okay we got the capture energy gotta get to those cross switchers but i think we just have it in hand if they're both in deck let's go ahead and cap out a low tad cross switchers are there let's do it Level ball, grab ourselves a... Ooh, both, only two jersey in the deck. We could candy out the Shady Dealings. Ah, huh, does that actually ever... At least to a way better hand, a hand state. A board state. But, like, if we go like this, get our candy. Then we have, a, we have a Shady Dealings Italian in hand. But is that worth it? Well, then we just don't have a dead hand. Because if my opponent just doesn't Marnie me next turn for whatever reason... Not that they have to Marnie me. But, like, if they don't Marnie me, my hand is actually just dead. But otherwise, I have the Shady Dealings Italian in hand. So, I think... Going this route is a little bit better because of that. So we're going to get the candy. Go for this. Get the Inteleon. We could have gone for double Drizzle, but this will actually leave us with an actual hand to work with. Uh, or a play like a playable card. Otherwise, it's like kind of on our opponent to Marnie us. But if they don't, we're like, oh, and our boss is prized, actually. Oh, no, that's huge. That's actually huge that our boss is prized here. Not this. Then the Suicune. Double back down. Yeah, take this KO. And no reason to not put the Sobble down, I don't think. Um, especially if our opponent starts focusing them down, we're going to need... There we go. The boss off the prize cards is huge. Rare Candy is also... I mean, it's not that big of a deal, to be honest, get the Rare Candy. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, I mean, it's all right. Um, but the boss is big. That allows us to chase another Jolteon that they would look to set up. And once again, if they don't get two Jolteon down, which it is possible... For them to only get one Jolteon down. Uh, we're in the same situation where boss, knock out Jolteon, boom. Fully reset them and uh, get us closer to taking that dub um, from there. It was a pretty insane hand that they kind of marnied us into right there, wasn't it? That was a, that was a good one. That was a good one for sure. <laughs> Definitely loved to see that. And yeah, nothing really like, like if I like I said, if I didn't go for that play, I mean, we got the boss, so we were fortunate to get that. But if I don't go for this like candy and Teleon play, if I don't get the boss out of the prize cards, then there's the double quick ball off the Intellion, so things are still gonna be tough here. Um, and it makes me wonder if I want to, like, change up my route here. Oh, my God. How do I want to play this? I could try and get double Lotad in play. I think I want to do that. I, I want to try and get double Lotad in play. Quick shooting does not matter as much. Maybe for some reason they don't go after the second Jolteon. That'd be great. I would love it if they don't punch the second Jolteon. But I'm almost thinking, like, I almost want to knock on the Intellion here. Because if I go for the boss play, I don't have two gust effects left, right? So if I go for the boss play, KO the Jolteon, I go down to two prize cards. And I can escape rope for something up off the bench into the active. That's cool. But then they just send up Jolteon after that. And then I literally can't get around the Jolteon at that point, right? So I don't think boss KO Jolteon is the correct play here unless my opponent only benches one Jolteon. But I don't think they're going to do that because that'd be pretty silly to do. So I think the, the plan instead is going to be to try and get double Lotad down. 
get quick shooting in play to start to build up some quick shooting damage because we're going to take a prize card they can scoop up net some stuff and really reduce our damage Ooh, and they're actually going after my energy here with that fan of waves that's pretty rude uh, but i fully expect that second quick ball to come out I, th I think they got to quick ball there i'm pretty sure they got to quick ball there i fully expect the second quick ball to come out and uh put a second draw on play but then we're gonna be like i said i think we should be aggressive about care the active try and make room on the bench for another low tad we got plenty of nets left get another low tad on the bench i mean if we get to keep the hand lombre would come down for sure i don't know if my opponent's gonna let me keep this hand or not they don't have too much info on the hand they know i have shady dealings in Teleon. Uh, my opponent is actually going for a boss themselves Maybe they're just trying to think. Yeah, I think they're just going to try and make things as awkward as possible. For oh my gosh, they only but they left the Jolteon. I feel like that had to be a mistake. They have another quick ball in their hand. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, opponent? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, how do I want to play? So the Lombre comes down. I want to keep the escape rope. So I think I'm going to candy this out here. We're going to get a scoop up net. We're going to get ourselves a. uh scoop up net we're gonna get ourselves a i think i want to get a level ball to then go to, i want to put a second drizzle in play because i want access to quick shooting as well and then that will give me the bucket yeah i like this drizzle. now i'm okay knocking out the two prizes i was talking about before how i wasn't like a huge fan of it because it was like okay um but now i'm actually a fan of it because now on their next turn they have to send up a one prize pokemon or, you know, a Jolteon and let me just win the game by KOing three Jolteon Vs, which doesn't make any sense. So they're going to send up like their Zigzagoon next turn, right? Which should have probably been in their active anyways right here. I don't know why they sent it up the other way around. Uh, and then I have this escape rope, this handy dandy escape rope here, which I can use to just escape rope around any Jolteon they might send up for the rest of the game and then get a knockout and win the game. Maybe they prize two Jolteon V. Maybe that's why they didn't quick ball for a second one. And that's it. That's a dub over Jolteon and that's how you get it done in a bad matchup look for those aggressive routes that gives you an opportunity don't sit there and play the standard okay i'll just kill your active i'm fine with that you're in a bad matchup understand what their deck does and understand what you have to try and uh hope never happens or play around aggressively to give yourself a chance and sometimes you'll walk away with dubs in those bad matchups so that's gonna do it for the games with the suicune deck like i said guys i feel like this suicune build uh really gives you a chance in the current meta uh, the main matchup that you're trying to fight against, really, I feel like, since it came out, has been the Mew VMAX matchup. And this build, I feel like, gives you a chance in it, for sure. Uh, and the other matchups, of course, have always been very solid for Suicune. It's just when Mew's the most popular deck, and it's giving you a bad time. Probably shouldn't be playing your deck, but uh, this build kind of solves that problem. If you guys enjoyed the video, give a like. Enjoy the content you're new here. Subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you tomorrow.